This is the B-36. You have seen her before on the pages of the Armed Forces Screen Magazine, but never as you'll see her today. Now, for the first time, we're able to bring you in close. For the first time, a general audience can be shown the details of this amazing aircraft inside and out. From the nose guns to the tail turret, this lady is a lot of airplane. She weighs more than 1,700 tons when this cavernous bomb bay is full of bombs. And she'll fly 10,000 miles to deliver that load of destruction without ever touching down. She's beautiful and deadly. Let's take a look at the actual size of this aircraft. 230 feet of wingspan. That means that she can barely squeeze in between the 10-yard stripes of a football field. It adds up to almost 5,000 square feet of wing area. In length, she's just over 162 feet. That's more than 50 yards. So she couldn't even get crossways on that football field without stepping out of bounds on both sides. In comparison with some of her smaller cousins, like these medium bombers, her size really shows up. You could park two of them in the shade of her wings. Standing on her nose, she would look like this beside a 16-story building. But you get the idea. She's big. When you start trying to lift 1,700 tons off the ground, you need power and plenty of it. And power is what she's got. Six of these giant engines at 3,800 horsepower apiece give her plenty of lift. And if that isn't enough, she's got four of these J-47 jet engines, two on each wingtip, which adds up to ten separate power sources. Total horsepower, the equal of nine modern locomotives. All this power is for one purpose, to deliver destruction on an enemy. And the B-36 really shines in this department. 86,000 pounds of bombs, perhaps a multitude of small ones like these. or maybe slightly larger, like this. Or for a real Saturday night wallop, a pair of these blockbusters at 43,000 pounds apiece. And for the Sunday punch, when she's over the target, she may run into trouble in the form of enemy fighters. She's got an answer for them, too. Eight of these remote-controlled turrets, each with a pair of fully automatic 20-millimeter cannon, spell trouble for any interceptor. The tail turret is a little unusual. Here, the gunner has no way of seeing his target except on his radar screen. But once he's on target, the guns lock onto it and track it down automatically. But so much for the B-36 on the ground. What do you say we join the crew as they get ready to take her up for a full-dress bombing run? The 36 carries a crew of 15 men, 10 up front in the big greenhouse and five in the rear compartment. The aircraft commander and the pilot are among the first to reach their stations. There's a tremendous amount of checking to be done before you can take a bomber this size upstairs. And when we say a tremendous amount, we aren't kidding. Just ask the flight engineer, for example. He has a few dials to attend to. All you need for this job is a memory like an elephant, eyes like an eagle, and a callus on that pointing finger. Everything seems to be in order, though, and finally we're ready to take off. six running smoothly. That's just under 23,000 horsepower revving up down there. A final check of the controls and the aircraft commander is satisfied. Okay, let her roll. 
With a wingspan of nearly 80 yards, you don't make any sudden U-turns. But at last, the big bomber is on her way. The jet engines are cut in for extra boost, but even so, it takes a long run to get off with a full load of bombs. the huge landing gear is pulled up out of the wind. When that's done, she's fully streamlined again. Picking up airspeed, she starts to climb. And with the extra thrust of those jet engines behind her, she wastes no time doing it. She travels high and fast, and as soon as she's up to altitude, it's time to prepare for interceptors. All right, where's that tow target? There it is, right on schedule. Of course, it's only practice, but the gunners take it seriously. Scratch one target. And just in time, we're getting close to the bombing area now, and the bombardier takes over. Approaching target. Time to open her up. For the next few minutes, it's all up to him. There they go. One by one, the bombs slip away in a seemingly endless train of destructive power. When this run is over, we'll have unloaded 43 tons of high explosives. Just imagine that down there is a vital stretch of railroad, or highway, or shipping docks. enemy on the ground, there wouldn't be much left except a cloud of dust and the sudden quiet that follows destruction. But for us, it's mission accomplished. Time to peel off and head for home. Button her up, boys. The last big job falls to the pilot, setting her down. When you bring 1,700 tons of airplane into a runway at well over 100 miles per hour, it's putting it mildly to say that you do it with care. You get your wheels down in plenty of time and get ready to use all the runway you can get. Then you ease her down. Everyone waits for the squeal that will tell you when the big wheels have touched the runway. And that's it. A puff of smoke from the tires, and you're home again. Well, here we are, the end of the line. Time to lock the wheels in place and cool her off. Our friend with all the dials makes it official as he flips his last switch for the day. For the crew, it's the end of another day's work. Time to head for home in a hot shower. For us, it's our first really close look at the Air Force's first lady of the skies, the B-36.